Hey guys, I, I forgot I had a webcam, so I just I wanted to hook this up, and I I use OBS Studio to record my videos, and I just realized it was pretty simple to just get my uh, webcam to show up in a little box. So I think I'll start using that for now, see how that goes. Um, but the next thing we need to do is download Proxmox. So Proxmox is the hypervisor where we're going to install um, our VMs. So I'm just going to click on the first link here to go to their website and go to downloads and then Proxmox virtual environment ISO images and then Proxmox VE 6.2 ISO installer that's what we're going to install um, so I'm just going to click download I actually already have it downloaded here so I'm going to cancel it um, but just like the Dell R710 firmware ISO uh, we're going to burn or we're going to make a bootable USB drive out of the Proxmox so to do that since we already have Rufus installed. I'll just um, run Rufus and then um, my USB drive is actually still in the server. It's updating the still updating the firmware so once that's free I'm just gonna select the USB drive, um, browse to the Proxmox and then burn it or um, you know make it uh, run it and then um, put it in the server just like how we're updating the, the um, firmware, we're going to basically boot the server, basically um, tell the server to boot from this USB stick, and then um, it'll have a, a Proxmox installer will show up, and we'll just go through the install process. And then once Proxmox is installed, we're not going to have to do any any physical work on the, the server anymore. We can just, um, we're just going to be doing stuff on the computer. Um, so that'll be easier. Um, yeah, so see you in the next video. Guys, so the server is booting up and I just hit F11 to go into the BIOS boot manager and from there I'll be able to select the USB stick and, and boot from Proxmox. Um, but this whole boot process takes a while so I'm going to cut the video again. But I just wanted to tell you when I saw this splash screen I hit F11 to go into the boot manager. Uh, but there's still a bunch of booting sequences it has to go through. Um, so the next, next thing we'll do is select the USB drive and, and run the Proxmox installer. Alright guys, so I booted it up and now we see the USB pops up and this is our Proxmox install. So I'm going to click this. and Alright guys, so Proxmox um, started up. So I restarted the server and selected the USB stick um, and Proxmox showed up. So this is what was displayed. So I'm just going to hit install Proxmox VE. Alright, so we're presented with a little GUI, and you do need a mouse and keyboard for this process. So, I've plugged a mouse in. So I'm just going to agree to this. Um, target hard disk, so you need to select. We're going to select our RAID 10 array, which is those four 300 gigabyte SAS drives. And click Next, United States, Next password so just give it a password I'm gonna put this camera down for a sec as I type the password in this is just the password you'll use to get into the Proxmox machine um, so I'm gonna click next and here we're gonna choose um, just like our host name what we want to call it so I'm gonna call mine um, Fran Proxmox. Dot local.
Then I'm going to leave everything else. The IP address is fine. Net mask, gateway, DNS server. Um, so I'm just going to click next. Okay, so it's just showing us all of our information. And this IP address right here is how we'll access the, uh, the interface. So I'm just going to click install. So, I mean, this is what how, you know what I was showing in the first video, Proxmox up and running. That's how we'll access it. So just note that number down. And I'm going to click install, and this probably will take, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. So I'm just going to let this uh, do its thing. And then um, if there's anything interesting that, that pops up, I'll show you guys. All right, so it looks like it's uh, almost finished. It's at 99% make system bootable so I'm expecting uh, I'm just gonna have to reboot the server once this finishes um, but I just wanted to I want to see uh, I wanted to record what it looks like um, at, at the finish of um, this Proxmox install All right, 100%. Okay, next steps. Reboot and point your web browser to the selected IP address on port 8006. So I'm going to take a picture of this with my phone. All right, and I'm just going to go down to reboot. Reboot. Rebooting. And now, ideally what will happen is this will boot, it'll go through its long process of booting up, and then um, it'll start up Proxmox. If there's no issues, it'll start Proxmox up, and it'll basically say um, Proxmox is up and running. You can go browse to this uh, web address uh, for the user interface. So I'll, I'll turn the camera back on once that screen appears. All right, so this is what it should look like once um, Proxmox starts booting up. So this is a good sign that the install worked. Um, this is all normal. I'm just waiting for the final splash screen that shows up, right, this. So this is an indication that everything worked. We have our Fram Proxmox, and it's telling us we can access it right there. So um, we're good to go. So I'm just gonna browse to that, and then um, I'll start uh, using the uh, computer to do some screen recordings of what we're doing. Um, but let me just show you that this is up and running here. So if I go here. one nine two one six eight zero one eight nine eight thousand six. Okay. Username is root by default. And then password is what we put in. Um, during the install process. Okay, so we're in. And you can see here, we don't have anything installed. Um, no VMs are running. Um, so basically, we're at a clean slate here. Um, so we'll pick this up in the next video.